Hey guys, welcome back to another FSD video. Here we are in version 12.5.1.3. We're currently in a hardware 4 model Y 2024. We are currently in assertive mode and we are gonna test a route that we've tested before where it doesn't like to stop if there's a red light. Uh, this has been tested, I believe once, uh, where it just kinda didn't stop the line or something. It's an edge case scenario where it's not super clear on where you're supposed to stop. There's two sets of lights and it should be stopping at the first set of lights, but it seemed like it wanted to stop at the second set, but it did seem like it was gonna stop at the first set for half a second, but then did continue through and we did have to um, disengage FSD and manually take over. Hopefully we will see an improvement on this um, either today or in the future. It could have been just a weird scenario where the car was just not thinking straight, uh, but hopefully we will see a different result today and it will actually perform better and we won't have to do any disengagements. Hoping for a zero disengagement drive, zero intervention drive like we've been having in previous uh, trips and on previous builds. FSD 12.5.1.3 has been treating me half decently. I do think it might be a slight regression since 12.5.1.1. Uh, I think. I think we skipped over 12.5.1.1.2. Um, we, we are handling these stops perfectly fine. We handled that unprotected left perfectly fine. No complaints whatsoever there. Super smooth. Like always, FSD doing its thing. Now we got another right here. We're going to stop, do our full complete stop, and just move on through like we've been doing for the previous ones. Ooh, slight hesitation there. I don't know what's going on here. Did not have to hit the accelerator. I uh, just moved on through, but it was being extra cautious on that turn, which it was not being extra cautious, I believe, on the previous attempt through this for this drive. So here we are doing that slowdown again, which it did do before. Um, not sure if that where that speed limit sign was because I do not see it, but it did do this before. So it must be seeing something. We're doing something um, to change the speed accordingly. I don't know if it's supposed to there, but I would say not so much because it does automatically go back up to 35 or 30 up here. And I think it was 30 or 35 previously, and I didn't see any school zone or anything signifying a speed change. So I think we're gonna see the sign possibly right up here maybe not um, so I think on this light we're making a left uh, so speed limit says 15 over there so maybe we are supposed to be going 25 here we got an unprotected left and we should just proceed on through perfect we did get a yellow and we just kept going so here's the light that we had issues with it's currently a green so we should okay perfect it's going to turn into a red light right now it's turning on yellow now it's red and we should be slowing down because we are going to be stopping it sees the light up here uh and there's the stop line right there and nope I'm not stopping at the line again so i'm going to reverse here you can see the lines right here so it does see the line interesting enough but and then throw on FSD again what does it say uh, we are turning though so I'll turn that back on oh, we've turned it off shoo there now I turned it back on I didn't do that so still not wanting to stop I don't know what's up with that I don't know if it's trying to stop under the light or if it thinks it doesn't need to act on that light, but we did have to disengage there, sadly, and we did have to reverse. I don't know what's up with that that light. It's weird, but there is a stop, stop line, so it should understand that. Let's see what we do on this light. We didn't have issues with this before. There is no line, surprisingly, and, and we do stop, and we give plenty of, of distance for this light, so super weird case i don't know if it's thinking that that light is for controlling for something else other than our lane but it is definitely for us controlling our lane and we do not stop so hopefully in the next build that we do get uh we didn't get one on friday last week so and it's tuesday this week so maybe we're going to get one on friday this week maybe it's going to be a big one maybe they'll have a uh, 12.5 for version or hardware 3 and maybe even for uh 
the uh, Cybertruck. So that'll be interesting. There is another turn up here that we also intervened for, maybe even disengaged. I can't remember. I'll link that up here. But uh, I think it would have handled it fine, but I didn't want to be in the middle of the intersection, so I continued forward. It did have a harsh break uh, because there was a car that was actually coming in and then going to turn, um, which was out of frame, but it, it never got in a situation where I felt uncomfortable. Well, I did feel uncomfortable, but I never thought that we were going to get hurt or anything uh, or someone was going to slam into us. I think it honestly made the right choice because that car didn't look like it was going to turn and it looked like it was just going to go a million miles per hour straight through uh, into our lane that we were turning into. So realistically, I think it made the right choice, but I wish that it started moving forward once that car did stop. Now, here's another weird thing where we're sticking in this lane. Talk about it. Car understands that. Not really, but it feels like it sometimes. Moves over to this lane because it knows that we're going to have to turn up here. And then we got cars that are passing us. I don't know if it doesn't like to be in this lane because normally it will stick to the right lane. Um, but not on this road. And I'm wondering if that is because these lanes are really narrow. Like, they're so tiny. No, I don't know. I don't think this was the light. Maybe it was actually, yeah, this was the light. So we had to stop here and then we were proceeding on the red and then there was a car that scared us. But here we are just handling it perfectly fine. Plenty of room from the curb. I like how FSD like makes sure that we don't hit the curb. At least that's what it feels like when it does a little movement with the wheel. Doesn't feel uncomfortable, feels perfectly fine. Feels more comfortable I would say because I know that I'm getting away from that curb. So pretty good so far other than that light still causing us issues but hopefully we'll see an improvement in that and hopefully that gets back to the team with those disengagements um i guess i should have said something on uh the thing i don't know if it actually came up but hopefully that break will will get sent over to the team and, and they'll be able to review it and fix that mistake Now we do have a protected left here, so this should be pretty easy for the car. And then uh, further ahead, we also do have a interesting merge where, or I guess it's a, a light where, depending on if there's cars, it should go around or continue straight in the lane. I always find that interesting because a lot of humans don't know what to do there and it's kind of a guessing game. but. Uh, it's like a 50-50 if FSD gets it or not too, but that is just like a human. It's a 50-50 if a human understands what to do there too. So I'd be interested to see how that goes. We haven't done that test in a minute. So we do have another red here, just turned to green. So we should start speeding back up. There we go. Nice, comfortable, slow down. We didn't completely stop and then acceleration back up to speed. Now. I would like to stay in this lane and not move over to that lane. Sometimes FSD wants to move into that lane and then we have to merge right on the other side of a traffic light, which uh, isn't ideal. It's fine, it's not illegal or anything. Some people do it, but it's just not the way that you should do it. In my opinion, I believe that you should just stay in this lane and continue straight. Uh, so you don't have to worry about merging or anything like that, it's just silly. But it looks like we are staying in this lane for now. Um, I think part of that is that we can't really get over easily, so I think that's helping our situation here. Um, I'm not sure why sometimes it acts to go over. Uh, it just felt like we were accelerating fast, but we actually weren't, and the car was just slowing down. Now uh, we got a green here, so we should just kind of ease on into here. I'd like to see a little bit more acceleration, but you can see these cars are going straight. Some of them are going straight, and most of them are going to have to merge into this lane, and it just causes all these issues because people are being dumb. I understand if you're going over there, then then sure, but you don't even have a blinker on. Like, I can't wait until FSD is driving everybody around. Uh, maybe it's not even Tesla software, but when cars are just all driving themselves, I think it's going to be a way better world. Um, it'd be really nice too to be in the back seat, just getting work done or doing whatever while my car drives me around or. Maybe I'm home and my car is driving and doing stuff for me. Um, and then you add in uh, Optimus into there, that'd be pretty cool. But as of right now, we still got a supervised vehicle. 
So maybe one day, but not today. So we do, this is the light that we are approaching. I don't know why we're stopping right now. Okay, this guy's taking a real slow turn. Um, probably broke, braked, slowed down a little too much. But okay, so here we go with this light. It is turning red right now. And since this guy doesn't have his blinker on, even though that doesn't really mean anything, I would stay over here because it doesn't look like anyone's turning. Though you can see the guy behind me isn't really sure what to do either. And now, see this guy is going straight, so then that guy has to merge over. It, it's a whole mess. FSD handled it fine, FSD did what it's supposed to do, but it did let a car go ahead of us because it does leave that huge gap, which is a little disappointing, but if I was in the backseat, I really wouldn't care, I wouldn't even notice. So I'm okay with that. Um, but yeah, so if that guy was turning, then FSD should have moved in the other lane which sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. It's like a hit or a miss. Uh, and it's hard, to, I don't really do this red a lot, so it's hard to see if it's improving or not in each build and what's going on with that. But we'll keep trying to test this road out and uh, see what FSD is up to and what it's doing and uh, if anything's changing or anything like that. But now it's pretty much gonna end us here there's really not anything else on this drive. Um, thanks, guys, for watching. Please leave a comment if you want to see anything, want me to do anything, want me to test anything. Um, like, dislike, let me know what you think of the videos. Um, and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have a good one.